<laughs> How's it going, guys? So it's um, it's been a while, and Khabib Nurmagomedov is making his his return to the UFC at UFC 219. Okay, well, you know what? It's been it's been so long. It's been so long since the last time that I've seen Khabib fight. I mean. His last few fights, the one that I was really, really looking forward to was him versus Tony Ferguson for the interim, uh, for the interim title fight. And as we know, that fight, uh, it fell through. It's just the fact that he cannot make the 155 pounds weight limit. And at UFC 219 on December 30th, he's making his return versus Edson Barbosa. Okay, guys. Um, I have a mixed mixed feeling about this. I have mixed emotion. It's just the fact that Khabib, I believe he is honestly in my book. When it, when it comes to lightweight, he's my top three. Okay, and this is why. This is why. Number one, it's of course it's it's Connor because he's the champ, and number two, it's um Tony Ferguson because he's he is the interim champ, and number three it's um Khabib. Okay, it's you know what? It's very simple. It's very straightforward. He is top three. He's one of the best, but he's top three without a belt. And now he's facing Edson Barbosa. Okay, and you know what? I don't know how to feel about that. It's just the fact that me personally, I would like to see him against someone else. If I have to choose, if I if I was um if I was the matchmaker. If I could, if I could play um, a fantasy matchmaker, the person that I would like to see um, compete against is uh, is Kevin Lee. That that's the guy. Kevin Lee's my man. Ke Kevin Lee's Kevin Lee's my pick to fight Khabib to welcome back to welcome him back to um to lightweight. And there's a catch. This is the catch. I realize this is the catch, and, and I realize that both these fighters, they have been um they have been a tough time making the 155 pounds weight limit. The lightweight limit, and okay, guys. Let's just assume. Let's just imagine if this is a big if that these two guys they cannot make that weight. Let's have it a catch weight. Why not? And oh my goodness, <laughs> Kevin Lee. Oh my goodness, Kevin Lee. He made a he cut nineteen pounds in sixteen hours. Something ridiculous like that, like drastic, drastic weight cut. I don't believe that the lightweight division is for him. And Khabib, the last time he tried to cut weight for the 155 pound fight versus Tony Ferguson, he he almost died. He was sent to the hospital and less than 24 hours, the fight was cancelled. So I don't know. Hopefully Edson Barbosa, my friend Edson, hopefully that um you get... The UFC to find to to find to sign some some type of um fight agreement or some kind of fight deal, just in case this fight does not go through, because if it does or if it does not, I mean if it does not, I would like for you to get paid as well. You you camp your team, like the effort that you put in, you guys you know what I love Khabib, but at the end of the day, he is not reliable. He's got a great record. He's twenty four and zero. And he's been, he's been beating and destroying um some of the best fighters that the UFC have to offer to him, but the thing is that, you know what? I just think Khabib is just too big for this division. So after that being said, Edson, I am, like I said, I'm hoping that you and you and UFC got some got some type of deal going because I would like to see you get paid, okay? And one more thing is that. If, man, I hope this does not happen. If Khabib failed to make weight again and is being pulled from this fight versus you, versus you, Edson, I hope that, I hope that they will force Khabib to move up in weight and fight of a more na natural weight class, which is um, which is a uh, Walt weight, because obviously, this is this is very obvious. This has happened once too many, and Khabib is just way too big for lightweight. Okay, guys. And that bring up uh, up another another question. What if? Let's just imagine. What if? Okay, guys, we're playing on fantasy here, okay? 
can we go out and beat Edson Barbosa? And then he goes out and beat the winner of Tony Ferguson versus Kevin. Oh, sorry, Tony Fer- Ferguson versus um Conor McGregor. Because I believe that for the lightweight division, Conor McGregor versus Tony, Tony, Tony Ferguson is the next the next fight to make for the title. You know what? Oh, excuse me. Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz, they could have that fight anytime they want and it will sell. It's just the fact that the general public will eat it up. They will they will buy it regardless. Because Nate is a draw. Conor is a draw. Both these guys, they, um, uh, Connor, both, both these guys, Connor's got a nation behind him, and um, Nate Diaz, he's got a like, he's got such a strong following because of the, the weed, the, mar- the marijuana, his his attitude, his, he's got such a big following. Regardless what happened, regardless if Conor McGregor, Conor McGregor lose to Tony Ferguson, the fight that he will have against Nate Diaz, it will sell. Like regardless, regardless, like. There's no, there's no question about it, okay. But however, before all this stuff happened, Tony and Conor must fight, and the one of that must fight Khabib if Khabib beat um Edson Barbosa. I'm not trying to say that Edson is um is a cakewalk. I'm not trying to look past him because at the at the end of the day, he Edson Barbosa, he is into UFC for a reason. Okay, he's not here for for cakewalk, and I'm gonna lo- I'm looking at his record right now. His last five fight since August twenty fifth, twenty fifteen, he is sitting at four and one, and his lo- and his only loss was to to um, Tony Ferguson. That is the one thing that they, they, they have in common. But he beat the former champion Anthony Pettis. And he also beat as um as in Barbosa. He has also beat Gilbert Melendez, which is ridiculous. He beat a former champion from Strike Force, and he also beat a former UFC lightweight lightweight champion. So you guys, you know what? Let's not sleep on him. Oh yeah, and look at this. He he also beat um Bobby Green, Evan Dunham, Lucas Martin. Ross Pearson, but I think Ross Pearson's um, the wear and tear is catching up on him. But however, the point that I'm trying to get is that he has beat elite level caliber fighter Gilbert Mel- Melendez, Anthony Pettis, um, Bobby Green, and Evan Denham. So, you know what? Me personally, I don't know how you guys feel about this fight. I am intrigued for mu- multiple reasons. Number one is, of course, is Khabib gonna make weight? Is Khabib actually gonna make weight? And this is this weight cut is gonna kill him. Hopefully he does make weight. Hopefully it does not make. Hopefully it's not that drastic for for him to make this weight because if Conor can make one forty five and look like skeleton, I can honestly believe I am like one percent believe that Khabib can make this weight class with the right with the right te- with the right team behind him. Okay, Khabib get the right team make make the weight. That's not, that's number one. Number two, that I'm looking forward to is that is that if if Khabib does not, what's gonna? Um, I would like to see if um, Edson Barbosa will get paid from the UFC. Me personally, I would like to see him get paid. I would like to that. I would like for him as that's some type that um, that kind of um, stipulation within the contract because you guys, these guys are prize fighter. I want to get paid, okay? And of course, number three. This is um, a selfish reason. Is that you know what Khabib is one of my favorite fighter, and I've not I've not seen him comp- compete in a while. Last time we fought was against Michael Johnson, which he tear him up. And you know what? I like to see him compete. I like to see him do well. But however, I like to I like to che- I like to cheer for the underdog. And in this situation, as in Bar- Bar- Barbosa is the underdog. Okay, you guys, regardless what happened. This will happen. There will be a winner. If could be win, win, great because I've not seen him fight for a long time. I want him to compete. I'm happy. But if as in Barbosa win, I'm like holy smoke. We have ourselves a new um a new challenger, a new challenger to the throne of the lightweight throne. I am excited. Okay, okay, guys. Um, that is my quick thought on the return of um Khabib. 
Nagamirov versus SM Barbosa at UFC Fight Night 219 from T-Mobile Arena December 30th. I'm looking forward to it. You know what? I have not missed a fight card in a very long time. So, yeah. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Yes, entertain me. Okay, guys. Um, Thank you very much for listening. If you have not, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell me what you think about this fight matchup in the comment section below. I will look to hear from you. And take care. And I will talk to you soon.